we will look at starting and using database control just a brief overview for, for this lesson open a terminal session you can see that the command for starting is emctl start db console db console has already been configured in this vm so you don't need to re reinstall and reconfigure it we just type in the command it starts off some java processes which connect to the database now database control is local to the server so it connects to a database on the same server if you want to connect to databases on multiple servers you will use enterprise manager cloud control or grid control those are separate products which you need to purchase and install ideally on the on dedicated servers but database control in 11g is uh, free and bundled with the database so you set up database control now you can see the url for logins is here we do have a browser on the server let's log in from the browser localhost 1158 em so that's the localhost login we will log in a system for the time being instead of sys and we don't need a sysdba login for this demo we just log in as a normal system account system itself is a dba account so he can monitor he can monitor a lot of things system password is oracle this is a, an account inside the database okay so database control is a is like a client like your sql plus client but it's now connecting to the database using database authentication it takes some to time to uh, start up the first page so let's wait for that so this is the first page which we get it gives an overview of the entire environment the database has been up for some time what is the load on the c on the server what is the size of the database whether there's any uh, violations any uh, backup usage any alerts alerts come up here so let's look at some of the tabs here you can see performance availability server schema let's look at the schema tab we look at tables and for the schema HR go oh. so these are all the HR tables that we have in this database let's go back to database instance click on database instance in the top left and we can look at all the different types of schema objects here if we look at availability we can look at the database backup settings recovery settings we will view them when we con when we discuss backup and recovery setup let's go back to the home so we can see there has been some activity in the database that activity was wa is what uh, enterprise manager has been running for me i can look at sql statements here and see uh, what has been happening in the database so let me log out for the time being click on log out at the top right close the browser and you run on the command line emctl stop db console ideally you should stop db console before you shut down the database again the shutdown t uh, the, the stop of the database con console takes a, a bit of time and then once it's stopped you can log out of the terminal if you want to thank you